Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we will be creating laser effect from Cardi B featuring Kanye West and Lil Durk music video. So this will be the effect that we will be recreating it inside After Effects. So let's get started. First, import your clip into the timeline and then we will create a new solid layer. Let's name it Laser B. And our first effect that we will be adding is B under generate. So now drag and drop it. And then we will tweak some settings of our B. First, let's change the color. You can choose whatever color you want to keep it. I'm going with blue right now. Let's increase the length size of our B. And then we will adjust the position of our B. And then we want our beam to move from one direction to another. So we will keyframe our ending point. Guys, please comment down in this video from which country you are watching from. I would be happy to know. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. After you are done with keyframing the position of our ending point of the B, we will go to our shape layer, we will select ellipse tool and then we will create a shape. Okay, uh, we don't need any stroke effect, any stroke right now and change the fill color accordingly. I have cut my beam color blue so I will keep the color of my shape layer blue then add Gaussian blur and uncheck repeat edge pixels and then we will increase the blur now we want our shape layer to match the position with our laser beam so we will parent it to our laser beam end point position layer and now you can see that it's moving with our beam. Also, don't forget to change the blending mode of our shape layer to add light in. Then we will add a glow effect. Okay, now let's. Okay, now I will change the color of my beam to green. And also I will change the color of my shape layer to green. Now I will duplicate the beam and the shape layer. And then again adjust its position since I want 3-4 beams around, the, around my subject pointing at it. And then we will again keyframe the ending point of it because I wanted to keep it different movement for all my beams for all my laser And then we'll repeat this process and then we will parent our shape there again with our ending point of our new laser beam that we duplicated. Also we will keyframe our opacity. So let's alt or command click and then we'll write our expression wiggle 25 60. You can do experiment with different values. Also, let's change our starting thickness and end ending thickness because I want it to be more pointy 
and it's too big for a laser so let's adjust its thickness and then I will repeat for my all beams it's better if we do it before since before the duplicate so that you don't have to do manually for the each beam you have duplicated okay so now I will repeat this process again and I will duplicate my shape layer and beam layer again and then I will keyframe the ending point position and then I will parent my shape layer to the new beam so now I will create an adjustment layer now in which we will add CC lens and I will play with the values of size and convergence now I will add colorama effect into my main footage and then change our output cycle to negative and then I will add hue and saturation and under the colorize option let's increase the color saturation to 100 and then I will choose my color let's say I will keep it green since my laser pointer is green so I will keep color accordingly okay now I will add noise effect into my adjustment layer let's increase it to around 20 to 30 percent i think the shape layer that we created is too big so let's decrease the size in our main footage we will add another effect inward and then let's change our hue saturation again to make it green so now I've got my effect which I wanted. Now since laser beam is too direct, so now in order to make it more realistic, I will create a new solid layer and let's name it fractal. Now add fractal noise on it. And then I will change my laser beam mat to fractal mat and then convert from alpha mat to luma mat. Now let's head back to our factor noise layer and then change from soft linear to block and basic to dynamic. Let's decrease the brightness and, the con and boost up the contrast. Okay, it looks good. So now I will add another effect, simple choker effect into our laser beam and then I will push my choke mac value to a, around 1 or 2, I think 1 or 2 will be enough depending upon intensity of the glow. Now I will copy paste all my simple choker effect to all the laser beam layer. and. Now we are done with our laser beam effect. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much and make sure to subscribe to my channel to get more contents like this. Have a nice day.